Carpet fitter Roy Fulton thought he knew what to expect on the byways of Bedfordshire. But there's one journey he'll never do again in the dark. He was driving home on a deserted road from Stanbridge to Tottenham when the headlights of his van picked out a lonely hitchhiker. There was a figure thumbing a lift on a street light down here on the left hand side. I'll stop just down here and let you see where it is. So we're there now. I thought myself he could either be going to Tottenham or Dunstable. So I thought myself I'd give the lad a lift. He actually walked back into the headlights of the van. He opened the van door. He got in, sat down. I asked him where he wanted to go. And all he said was, well, all he, he never said a word. He just pointed up the road. I started the van up, drove off. Never made no conversation. It was just about now I leant forward picked up me packet of cigarettes. In fact, it was just about here. Turn round to offer the, the lad one, and that man or boy was not sitting there. And, well, <laughs> I just frightened the life out of me. I turned round and had a look in the back, and I realised that he wasn't in there, because by this time I had, me, I had switched the interior light on. And by this time, I was just sort of panicking. And I just put it in first gear, and I went like a bat out of hell. And the sanctuary he headed for was his local pub, the Glider. Landlord Bill Stone remembers Fulton coming in, shaking and white as a sheet. He said to me, give us a large scotch quick. I said, hey, have you seen a ghost or what? He said, yeah, I have. I've seen a ghost. I said, I'm silly. He said, I've seen a ghost. He insisted that we had to go down the police station because he thought if anybody had got hurt or whatever it was, you know, he'd rather find out about it then, you know, than another day. And, um, I mean, uh, when we got home, it was still on his mind. And, uh, in fact, we slept with all the lights on because he was so convinced that it would, I don't know why, that it would come home, follow him home. There's obviously someone got in that motor. And I do not for note at this day what it was.